All right, in this video, we're going to do an example of actually just trying to find an identity uh, for this expression, cotangent x times tangent x minus cosine squared. And uh, this one looks maybe a little tricky at first, I don't know. It's definitely uh, turns out to be not too bad. And again, the idea I'm going to use, usually if I'm not sure what to do, um, I don't see any identities that are readily apparent. Um, I just turn everything into sines and cosines. So cotangent x, that's cosine x over sine x. Tangent of x is just sine x over cosine x. And then we still have our minus cosine squared x left over. Well, we can simply just start canceling out factors. We've got a cosine over a cosine. We've got sine over sine. Again, you can think about there as being uh, ones on the top and bottom. Again, that wouldn't change their value. So we're really left with 1 over 1, or 1 minus cosine squared x. But again, recall our identity that sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. Whoops. Uh, so if we simply subtract the cosine squared from both sides, we'll get that sine squared x equals 1 minus cosine squared x. So that's simply what I'm going to plug in. Uh, it says 1 minus sine squared is sine squared x. And that would be a, a nice, you know, sort of much more uh, reduced, certainly less cluttered expression than what we started with. 